Today is Memorial Day. I am up in Boulder, Colorado, and just going into a cemetery right now. Uh, it is the Boulder Boulder race, which is, uh, it's kind of funny, this is uh, literally probably the quietest place in Boulder right now, because there's probably about 50,000 people just a couple miles from here about to run a 10K. I am not a runner. I'm a geocacher. So I uh, dropped off my dad and a uh, friend of his, and they are going to run, and I'm going to geocache. So I'm going to take some video and uh, fulfill the geocaching challenge of the month to write a log of 250 words or more. We're in my Cashley shirt, and uh, let's go find this uh, tombstone. So I am not originally from Colorado, so I did not know this history, but uh, there is uh, a grave right on the other side of me uh, that I'm facing. I'm not gonna show the name, uh, just to not give it away because it is a virtual, but uh, it was someone who died in 1903 uh, by Haining, and uh, he was convicted of murder and hun in Cheyenne and is, uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming, and is buried in Boulder. So it's kind of interesting, a little bit creepy, but a uh, very old cemetery, uh, which is fascinating. I always find old cemeteries fascinating. And like I said, it is just a really nice place to be on this Monday morning, uh, where it's nice. So as I mentioned, uh, today is the Boulder Boulder. So maybe 30, 40,000 people running the 10K, and I am coming up on the crowd now. All right, so there is a cache on a newspaper stand really close to here that uh, was found yesterday, but before that had been DNF'd four times in a row. And I was a little bit nervous about trying for it because to be honest, I've kind of been on a slump. Um, I've been having to phone a friend a lot. I've DNF'd uh, several FTF attempts and it's just, it's not been very good. So uh, to try for something, I knew that it was gonna be pretty uh, challenging to get. Uh, wasn't so sure I wanted to go for it and, and test my luck, but thankfully, there it is, which felt really good. So I'm going to put it back where I found it, and I'm glad to be back on more of a winning streak. Just some more looks of the Boulder Pearl Street Mall behind me. It really is a cool place to go, and this is such the perfect time because the muggle traffic is very light, which does not tend to be the case. So. Uh, glad to get this cash found, and I'm going to head up to North Boulder to get some others. All right, we are in North Boulder, and there is an earth cache here. Kind of an interesting earth cache. All I have to do is find some spots of some geological interest, describe them. Take some pictures and call it good. Description does give several options of places to stop. And you can see the flat irons in the distance. Across the stream. All right, everything's intact. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful day. I love Colorado. Guys, this trail is so pretty and certainly would not have come up here without this earth cache. And it's just so quiet. The wind and then the songs of the birds it is truly just a spiritual experience and just uh, amazing what God has created. Okay, check this out over here. This is really cool. I saw this on the description page. This is an old limestone kiln. Go right into the rock. Very cool. 
you know how old that is. Okay, I hope you can hear me over the roar of the water. I am at uh, my last spot uh, for right now, and I am going to get another earth cache. And uh, this is a cool little turnoff in the Boulder Canyon. And I'm going to turn this around now and show you the Raging River. Nice path over there on the other side. So before I get the information that I need for the earth cache, I just wanted to say thank you to Lookout Lisa and the geocaching blogger for this geo challenge of the month to write a log of 250 words or more. I actually tend to do that uh, with or without the challenge. I just have discovered it's really fun to write longer logs and tell people about my experience. So uh, kind of fun to do something I'm already naturally doing. So thanks and I look forward to the next challenge.